we've got these headsets from Holy Land, like in Hollywood. So um, we're going to test them out. So it's from Holy Holy Land. Let's check them out. Very nice. Thingy. Manual, extra batteries, looks like some air caps, oh nice, one more air cap, oh microphone and on ear, so this is over the ear and this is on ear, let's get in touch, huh. oh. <laughs> and then our linky. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Hmm. Not a bad design. Looks a little bit funky. For the batteries. How does this work? Huh, easy. Okay, battery. Good. Okay, there's a file safe for that. Cool, can adjust it. Look at that. And it does have a wind noise guns, wind noise thingy. Nice big buttons. And it, you can feel the difference. So I think we will be easily be able to to use it. Okay, quite cool. So we have one for guests as well, if we have guests on board and they want to listen in, if we want to to train them, so this is good, cool, yes a charger, oh, two more batteries, okay, and it looks like USB-C, they provide the USB-C, here at Sisu, here at Sisu we have a whole charging station of all sorts of wires, USB-C. Look at that, it's working. So if everything else fails, just read the instructions. To put this on is quite easy, it seems like. You just take this off. Just a simple sliding mechanism. That's it. Now it is over the ear. Can you see me? Our previous ones we couldn't talk upside down and you will see very shortly why <coughs> it's required to be upside down. So let's charge the batteries and then we test them out. We've got at least a couple of batteries charged so we're going to see if these babies are working. Blue labels and the master has a red label so if we I think over here is a USB-C port. If you look there, there's a USB-C port. Here's a little switch, so let's switch it on. And then this little light starts to flash. Okay, let's put headphones on and you can hear what we hear. You can see it's now it's now flashing there. So you cannot talk yet because Frick the master. The master with the red thing must first switch on he, so listen. Connection secured. Hello, hello. Come on, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? I'm talking to you. Oh man, you guys are you guys are just awful. You don't even want to talk to me, so I'm going to take off your I'm going to take off your headset because you don't want it. Okay. Testing. Testing, testing. Aquario. Yeah. We're hard and... Okay. Yeah, Come. you're very loud and clear. <laughs> Commonly known as marriage savers. How's that? Now, it eliminates a lot of shouting and screaming. Frick needs to go up the mast, which is 20, 27 meters tall. So there's no way the wind is blowing. I'm going to get ready. 
wind is blowing quite a lot. Yeah, it's blowing quite heavily, so there's no way that he can shut me from the top. So this is a very handy gadget to have. It's always a... <laughs> tight fit. We have the topping lift and the main halyard. So we have the halyard here and the topping lift as a, as a safety for the topping lift and then the main halyard as safety. The topping lift is going to go very fast and the halyard is going to go two to one. I'm ready. Yeah, so the wind is blowing. Yeah, so, yeah. so fortunately yeah. we have a roof up here so I can see the yeah. sky. Yeah. So now it's completely out of reach by here. So you know you can talk to me. Okay, I'm still holding on. Ooh, I forgot to untie the the spinnaker alley but okay, once you get to the top we can go oh, to the top and then you can yeah oh, once you get to the top okay. see stuff happens uh, let me just get through this okay i'm through yeah yesterday morning was all quiet oh geez i'm overrunning here is there anyone it's okay the lines have overrun so i just need to ah i see a jellyfish <laughs> You can spot the fish all the way from the top there. Let me just get these lines sorted again. Okay, ready? Almost at the top. Almost there. <laughs> Don't want to look up or down. <laughs> it's Are good. you there yet? Uh, almost. I can't see the lines anymore, so you're blocking the lines. So. Half meter. Half meter. Okay, stop. Elliot, you can take up a little bit more. Okay, both okay. of them is tight. <laughs> so conversation is just much easier. And I must say the quality of the I'm sun, here. even with the wind and everything, is good. I'm here right at the top. And, whoa, <laughs> it's like I'm holding, even though and now I'm quite, quite safe, but I need to inspect this little bugger here. Can you guys see if there's a, a problem? I don't see. Oh, it's so very high. Oh my so goodness. On your hands. Okay. Okay, so um, we've lost our AIS on the boat and we went through quite a bit of a lightning storm in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, about a month ago, three weeks ago. And now he has to go up the mast to go check the aerial. You see, if that can't be the problem because we checked all over the boat. I'm not sure I, I see anything. <laughs> but uh, I'm not so sure, but I think. Can you see something? The satena is broken. Oh no. This is loose. And it's a wire. And it's a wire like that. I'm almost sure that wire is supposed to be inside. So how do we get a new wire on here? Huh? Let me try to take a photo. Okay, I just heard lightning. So I think we need to go down. I think you have to just, just take me down. down. But slowly. Try to get me faster down. There's a lot of lightning in the area, so. I don't want to be on a mast when it's like. And go down again. Well, shit. That one was oh, close. There's the lightning coming now. It's not coming now. It's very close. It's yeah. going to be for a couple of strikes. One of the advantages of having also a headset is that I can be here in the engine room where Pedro cannot hear me. Well, maybe if I shout. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you on the headset. <laughs> okay. I can't hear you with my other ear. 
So I want, we have got some alternator issues, so I need to check this out and power volt. I put it over there and I need to measure this now. Okay, it's zero. Now I'm going to ask Peter to start the engine uh, and that's going to get loud inside here. So hopefully you can hear me on, on, the, on the thing. We can even set our thing is here to be louder or not louder. Okay, start the engine. Okay. Go. Okay. Very can you hear me? A loud engine. Can we just turn up our volume? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I've turned up the volume. <laughs> I also had to turn up the volume. But can you hear me nice? I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me measure the alternator output. Okay, the alternator has not yet kicked in. Okay. Just hold on. Okay. Charging for the starter battery is okay, but the alternator is still not working. But the good news is the headset doesn't fall off my head. <laughs> I can move my head around. Okay, it's busy giving an output. Okay, I think it's working now. Rip it up a little bit. A neutral, uh, the starboard engine. Okay. How many reads? Yep, it's I'm working. I'm on a thousand. Okay, thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred. Well, that looks good. Okay. Okay, so I can have a hot shower tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. Okay, can I turn off the engine? You can turn off the engine. Okay. Thank you. Oh, silence. <laughs> and it's as easy as that. So we also want to show you with the headphones, there's new ones. How we catch a mooring ball. But there's no mooring ball here. And Peter is getting a fender out. Because guess what? I saw a cement block there. So go let's go and make ourselves a mooring ball. <laughs> There's a rope and everything at the bottom, uh, basically next to our anchor. So we're going to quickly tie that one up and see what happens. So I'm going to put you in water mode. is going to be a very good demonstration of why you should not pick up the mouth line <laughs> but the real line okay so I think Pietro is going to do the driving and I'll stand in front and let's see what's happening can you still see the yeah. it's quite windy what is the wind speed um, 10.8 11 11 knots. 11.3, 11.5, 11.8, 12. Going forward at the stores here. No, it's pretty easy now. 
Okay, that was hooking onto the ball um, we're just going to put it up again and take the ball I'm not so sure about the, that line um, I did dove it. it it looks very good but I think I will stay on anchor so let's put this up and see how we get off the ball you can just go forward slowly Two meters, one meter. Neutral. Okay, uh, you're neutral. Okay, good. Go to sport side. Go to port side. Port side, move. Port side forward, port side forward. I want to take the wearing ball off. Board side forward fast. Okay, you can go neutral. So I'm taking now our mooring ball off. <laughs> Are we on it? Yeah, you're still good. You're not drifting. Very good. Oh, you're keeping position quite good. Yep. Okay, off the hook, you can go slowly backwards and we recover for ball. With the headphones on, it's just so much easier because you, you don't need to shout. And as you could see, I was completely out of their sight, the ball was out of their sight. And we still managed to, without shouting, <laughs> and it becomes very fast, a shouting match. So these things are quite good. Um, I would recommend that you guys definitely have one of these and is and if the if the voice is not coming through you can easily adjust it so i think it's these guys are quite good holy land this is what what we have here what we 
demonstrate it now. And this is it. So it's a very easy thing to set up. Just switch it on. And if the master is there, the blue ones will pick it up very easily. That's it.